The following video will demonstrate how to connect Vantage Point to a Production Center system, Rockwell Automation's MES platform. This is a new feature in version 5 of Vantage Point. I have opened Vantage Point Manager. I'm going to navigate down to System, Sources, and Production Center, and this is our new connector. Expanding the connector, you'll see that I have the ability to connect to multiple production center systems if necessary. There's also a collection of what we call shared queries. These are common queries that many systems use, and we've put them in here to make it easy to bring back common information from production center into vantage point. Let's create our connector. Looking or selecting connectors, right select new item and I put the dialog to create my connector. Now I'm going to call mine simply FTPC. I now need to point to the location where my production center system is sitting. It has an HTTP address um, and I have an IP address. Just note that there's the port 8080 at the end. Um, production center is listening on, on that port. Now I need to set uh, security credentials. Now I've already created the necessary user on the production center side, so I'm simply going to select that from my vantage point mappings. It's called FTPC admin, admin in my case here. There's a number of other uh, settings down below to, um, that you can make to your connector. Um, I'm going to show the advanced options here, and this is really where above we're talking about connecting to the production center API, but we can also connect to the production center database, the back end, let's say. So here I can actually point to that. Now I've created this in advance, so the SQL Server FTPC, this is the SQL Server that production center is running on. So I can connect to that, set the other credentials, and simply say create. At this point we have a new connector, again called FTPC, so let's just take a brief look at what's in it. There's three collections here. The first is a database access. This is the database that we just uh, created. So we have the ability to create tag providers. This is where we can turn transactional data into time series data so that we can trend data coming from production center on top of data coming, let's say, from historian in our trend tool in Excel and in our other clients. We have map types which allow me to create items in vantage point that map onto vantage point types from types or queries coming from, um, from production center. Then finally, we have the ability to create queries. These are direct queries against the SQL server running the production center system. The next collection here is called queries, and this really just allows me to um, contain XML queries, because that is the API for production center, that again allows me to bring the information back from, from production center into vantage point. And then finally, mappings. Mappings allow me to create items within vantage point based on vantage point types mapped to types or data coming out of production center. And that is how you create a production center connector in vantage point. Thank you.